Okay, now armed with our new keyword list, we can come back to our website over here and write our meta tags. Meta tags are what show up on Google when you input a search. So if we search personal trainers in Austin and something comes up like, let's get moving, Leslie Adams, blah, blah, blah. What that, that search result, all the text there is your meta tag. It's your meta title and meta description. So to write these in Wix, we can go to the page icon on our left-hand sidebar in the Wix editor, open that up, and we get a list of our pages. Now on this little page, if we select one page, three little dots show up. If we click those three dots and go to SEO basics, then our meta tags show up. So this one right now is just home Wix SEO course temp. Obviously that's not a very good search title, right? So there's essentially, I use a formula for writing meta tags. It's a combination of the business name for a local business like this, the location, and, and then the keyword we're targeting. So I would write something like personal trainer in Austin, Texas, Leslie Adams training. Okay, so that's our title tag. Now our meta description, we can do some of the same stuff. So we can write something, Leslie Adams training is an experienced personal training business in Austin, Texas. Our, our fitness trainers, there's our second keyword, love to work with passionate and driven clients of all kinds. Great. So now our meta tags have been written for just the home page. And now we have this option here. If our site was live with the domain and everything, we can toggle this on and off to let search engines index the page or not. So by in general, you're going to want search engines to index the page unless you have some kind of internal page or a password protected page or something you want to keep hidden, maybe it's a page you're working on, then you would toggle it off, but in general you're going to have this on so that search engines can actually find the pages you're working on. So if we keep going to the next page, we're going to write these meta tags for each individual page. All right, And so I would change this to be something like about Leslie Adams training personal trainer in Austin. Okay, we can also change the URL slug, so the thing that pops up after our URL right here. I think about's fine, but we could also change it to about Leslie Adams training. Okay, and then the same deal here in the meta description. Hi, I'm Leslie. I've been working with personal training clients in Austin for the past 20 years. So we're still working on our keywords, we're still working on our location information, we've updated our URL slug to have training in it, we've updated the title to have training in it and our location information. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna, you would continue in the same vein and do that for all your pages and that's it usually it only takes you know five or ten minutes really to write all the meta tags for a smaller website like this okay see you in the next video